A mother giving her final goodbye to her 10 year old daughter is now grieving the loss of a good friend after shooting at her child's burial. Ariana Davis was shot and killed on Mother's Day in Northeast DC when a bullet came through her family's car. Yesterday, tragedy struck again as Ariana was laid to rest. A dispute between rival funeral homes erupted in gunfire at Washington National Cemetery. It ended with the death of a close family friend who was serving as a pallbearer. News Force Paul Wagner has the emotional conversation with Ariana's mother and new details on the arrest of the man accused of pulling the trigger. Wilson Chavis, according to police, had a long running business dispute with people who were preparing to bury Ariana Davis at a cemetery in Suitland, a dispute that escalated at the gravesite with ugly words. According to a court affidavit filed in the case, Chavis first exchanged words with one man who walked away. The documents allege Chavis then pushed the pastor conducting the service, identified as Joseph Fletcher, who spoke at Davis's funeral earlier in the day. Investigators say Chavis shouted, this ain't your expletive funeral home, and then tripped over the lid to the grave and fell. Police say he then pulled a pistol and fired. When we arrived, we found that there was one adult male and one adult female that were suffering from gunshot wounds. The adult male uh, subsequently uh, was pronounced deceased. Prince George's County Police have identified the man who was killed here at the cemetery yesterday as Ronald Stephen Banks, who was a pallbearer in Ariana's funeral. Ariana's mother tells News 4 that Banks was a good man who had stood by the family since Ariana was killed. She says the woman that was wounded is a cousin. In a brief phone interview this morning with News 4, Ariana's mother said Banks tried to intervene in the dispute when he was killed. I'm so traumatized that this happened at my daughter's burial site. I didn't even get to lay her down, even to put her in the ground, and another incident happened. This is so traumatizing to me, my children, my whole family. Antoinette Belk says the violence in the cemetery prevented her from being able to say a final goodbye. So one of my aunts was at the grave site the whole time, so she was able to see Ariana go in the ground and put dirt over her. And I have pictures to confirm. So I'm very, it's a, it's a big relief knowing that my baby is buried. Wilson Chavis was taken into custody during a traffic stop and according to police admitted his involvement in the shooting. In Suitland, Paul Wagner, News 4. News 4 tried to find the pastor today as well as the family of Ronald Banks, but we have so far been unsuccessful. Jim.